Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to build a scheduled cloud flow, which will send email notifications to expiring Salesforce subscription records. Let's get started. So first, here we are in Power Automate, and we are on the build page where we are going to essentially select a scheduled cloud flow. And I've already got the name here and I've already got my schedule set. So this flow is going to run once a month. It's going to start on this date and it's going to run once a month at 7 a.m. So we're gonna go ahead and click create. Now, here on the build page, we're gonna see that it's already established our recurrence action here. So there's nothing more needed here, but we do have some advanced options where we can mention our time zone. So. Let's go ahead and select our time zone. Let's say we're in Pacific time. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get all of the subscription records from Salesforce. Now that could pull in a lot of records. So we're gonna narrow the records down by using a filter query. So first thing we need to do is get our Salesforce connector and then the Salesforce action of get records. And the object type is going to be subscriptions. So we can type in subscriptions and select it from the results. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna open our advanced options and we wanna create a query. Now, I don't wanna pull in all subscriptions. I wanna actually filter it by product code. So what I can do for that is I can get the API name for product code by going to my Salesforce object manager. So here on the object manager page under the quick find, I'm going to type in subscription and I'm gonna grab subscription label. And then I'm going to go to the fields and relationships tab here. And I'm going to again, search in the quick find for product code. So let's just type in product, see what results, type in product code. And here we have the field label product code and the field name also known as the API name. We can copy the product code API name, paste it into our query. Now I wanna pull in all the product codes that equal training. So what I do is I use EQ, which stands for equals. And then in the single quotations, I'm going to specify the product code of LR training. Now, this is an example, of course, so you will have your own product codes that you're working with. Um, but just to give you an example of using the filter query, this is going to pull in just the subscriptions where the product code equals LR training. Now, I also don't want to pull in every single subscription, uh, subscription record where product code equals LR training, because that's also going to be a lot. Um, and I want to send notifications just for expiring uh, subscription records. So what I need to do in this case is I need to add a further query to my get records action. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in an and, and then what I want to grab is the end date. So I need once again to go over and locate that API name for end date. So I'm gonna go back to my object manager and I'm gonna find end date. So I type in end date and I find here is the API name for end date for subscriptions. So let's go back and let's paste that in here. And this case, instead of equals, I'm gonna actually create a range of dates. So I'm gonna start by saying that I wanna get a range of dates where uh, the end date is greater than, so greater than is GT space, and I want greater than today. So what I need for that is an expression. So I can click expression here, and then I can, in the expression field here, I can type in UTC now and select from here. And now I can just go ahead and click okay. And that's going to insert the expression. And then I also want to do a less than. So once again, I'm gonna put in an, I'm gonna put in an and, and then I'm going to put in the API name for end date, and then I'm gonna do less than, so that's LT, and then space, 
And then I'm going to add another expression. So we open our expression window here. And now the expression that I want, because in this example, I'm just going to grab the records that are expiring within three months. So less than three months. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find the expression add to time. And you can see that pops up there. Now we're going to go add to time and then we're going to put in UTC now. And then what I want here is to indicate three and indicate month. And that's going to grab the three months, the ones that are within three months of the expiration date. So you have the range of now and three months. So we go ahead and we click OK. Now it's only going to pull in just the subscription records, three months out from the end date, and just the ones that are labeled with the product code of LR Train. So now we're good to go on our query. And what we can do is rename here. And we can go ahead and keep our original title of Get Records. And we're just going to put in subscriptions. Now we can actually go ahead and click Save. And we can run this just to see what it's going to pull in. So you can go ahead and pause here. And you can go over here and test. And then you can <clears throat> click Run Flow and done, and we'll see um, what that is going, what results we're gonna get from that. So you can see here, it ran. I can find out what subscription records are expiring by clicking on the outputs, uh, the click to download, and that's gonna open another tab here. And then here is where you can see um, exactly what records it pulled in there. Now, back to our flow. We're gonna continue to edit this because we wanna send an email to those contacts from those records, telling them, hey, your subscription is expiring. So what we're gonna do next is add a new action. And we wanna grab a few more details here that we're gonna use as dynamic content in our email. So the first thing that we want is we wanna get the account information that belongs to those subscriptions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, we're gonna add another Salesforce action so we type in Salesforce, we grab our connector, and then we want a get record. We grab get record, and what we want is the account. So we type in accounts, and we grab that. And now we need to put in a record ID. So we use the dynamic content, the results from our get records subscriptions action, and we want to put in the account ID. So we can type in accounts to narrow up it down. And we see here we have subscription account, so we can grab that. And now you see that Power Automate, Power Automate automatically applies and apply to each action um, for you because obviously you're going to get in the results of this action a bunch of different subscription records. So it's going to automatically apply this value dynamic content here and then your get record. So now what we can do is continue adding actions within this apply to each because we want to get more details from related to the subscriptions. So before I do that, also just keeping in mind that I want to um, note that this action is getting the, the, the account. So I'm going to change the name of this action to get record account. Now, once again, we're going to put in another Salesforce action here. So we search for Salesforce. And we again want a get record action. So we will get record. And in this case, I'm looking for contract. I want to get the contract related to this subscription record or these subscription records. And then once again, record ID. So we want contract, the contract ID. So we can type in over here and look for contract. We're going to get a lot of results though. Um, so you might end up having to scroll a little bit here. And so we're looking for get records subscriptions and we're looking for the contract. So here we go, a subscription contract, contract that governs the subscription. So we select that and now we're gonna get the contract details. So we're gonna rename this action 
to keep everything nice and clean and organized, get record contract. Now we want to add one more get record because we want to find out who is the contact, in this case, our technical contact that's related to the subscription. Um, and in this case, the technical contact is related to the contract. So we're pulling in um, the technical contract related to the contract, which is related to the subscription. And the reason we're getting account is because I want to include the account name in the email. So for this one, what we're going to do is yet another Salesforce action, the same one, which is get record. And we want contact. So this is going to be contacts. And then we need the record ID for the contacts. And this is going to be related to the contract. So under, under get record contract, I'm going to scroll a little bit and we're going to look for um, contact. So we have to dig in here a little bit. We can try to search and see if that helps us narrow it down, but there could be a lot of dynamic content that's called contact. Um, but this might still help us kind of narrow it down here. Um, in this case, I believe this person is called the technical contact and there it is. So we have get record contract and then contract technical contact. So we can select that. Now at last we can add our send email action. So let's search for that. And we're going to use, we're going to send it through Outlook. So we're going to use send an email B2 Office 365 Outlook. And the two line is going to be our contact. So let's, before we go any further, rename this to contact. And then in our two line, we can click on the add dynamic content here. And the very first thing we get is get record contact, contact email. So perfect, we can add that in there. Now, um, for our subject, let's just say subscription is expiring and we're gonna also put in the account name. So account name is account account name under get record account. So now it's gonna add the account name and in our body, we'll just simply say, hello, your subscription is expiring on. And then we can search for end dates and we can get the end date under get records subscriptions. So we've got the end dates. We can even put in some other details such as your subscription number is, and we can go over here and get subscription number. And we'll just go subscription, subscription number. There we go. And of course, we can add a lot of other dynamic content. But for this example, that's all that we're going to include. So now when I run this flow uh, on once, once a month, this flow will run. And it's going to grab all of the expiring subscription records that are within three months of their expiration date. And then it's going to grab the account, contract, and contact, technical contact, all related to the subscription that it finds for each subscription record that it finds. And it will send an email for each of those. And the email will send to the technical contact and it will populate with these dynamic contents of account name, end date, subscription number, and whatever other information you need to populate in there. And that's how the flow works. All right, everyone, appreciate you watching. Hopefully you, find, you found this video helpful. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.